The Suncoast Campaign for Grade Level Reading presents This book is cool! Hi everybody, welcome to This Book is Cool. My name is Beth Duda and I'm the director of the Suncoast Campaign for Grade Level Reading. Today we're at the city of Sarasota, Arlington Aquatic Park, featuring a really special book called Jabari Jumps. Have you ever been afraid to try something new? Perhaps something like learning how to swim or jumping off a diving board? Well, that's what this book covers, and we're in a beautiful location, and we have some special guests to show why this book is cool. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really, said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary, but Jabari had finished his swimming lessons and passed his swim test, and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari. I'm, so, I'm not scared at all. We have a special guest with us today to talk about the book, Jabari Jumps. With us today, we have Ty Hamid. Hi, Ty. How are you today? I'm feeling good. I'm so happy that you are here with us to talk to us about the book, Jabari Jumps. Jabari has a little bit of fear about jumping off the diving board. How do you relate to that? Um, I went up on the diving board and it seemed a very far way down, but I wasn't scared to do it because I wanted to show my dad that I was brave. Wow, that's just like what happened in the book, except that in the book, uh, Jabari wasn't quite as quick to, to say that he wasn't scared because I felt when I read the book that he showed some signs of maybe not wanting to do it right away. Maybe you should come down and take a tiny rest. Tiny rest sounds like good. He was saying that maybe tomorrow might be a good day to try to jump off the diving board. And he forgot his exercising stretches. Yeah, so he, he kept kind of delaying. I think there's a really great word that, that talks about delaying things over and over. He was procrastinating. He was totally procrastinating. And I think because maybe he was a little bit scared. Mm -hmm. So, Ty, what would you recommend um, for someone to get over their fear or to stop procrastinating? Well, Miss Beth, you told me not to give away the ending, but I will show you my evidence. Oh, okay. So, in order for you to show me your evidence, do you need to get prepared? Oh, yes, I do. Well, while you do that, I'm going to go over some of the words in our word bank. See you soon. The first word for our word bank is the word dive. Dive. That means to plunge head first into the water. The next word for our word bank is the word sprang. Sprang is the past tense of the word spring, which means to move or jump suddenly. So today, I would spring into the pool, but if I was talking about what I did yesterday, yesterday, I sprang into the pool. The next word for our word bank is the word curled. Curled, that means to move into a curved shape. Jabari went to the edge of the board. That's what he did with his toes. He curled them. Which brings us to the next word in our word bank. The next word for our word bank is the word edge. Edge. That means the space where one thing ends and another begins, like the edge of a swimming pool. Our final word for the word bank is the word special. Special. That means something unusual or different from the way it usually is. Like today, being here at the Arlington Aquatic Park is very special. I got dad. Our activity this week is all about swimming and we have a special guest with us to talk to us about why it's so important to learn how to swim. 
<laughs> Janelle, tell us a little bit about this wonderful place where you work. This wonderful place is called the Arlington Aquatic Center here in Sarasota, and we offer a range of swim lessons. We have zero, um, sorry, we call it zero lessons, but ages six months all the way to adults. So we offer that all the way into the fall season. You can find it on our website, and it's a wonderful program here, Beth. That's great, and it's all through the city of Sarasota, is that correct? Yes, it is. That's terrific. So tell me, why is it important for people to learn how to swim? Well, Beth, it's really important for parents and caretakers of children to learn to swim, to make sure that we have those expertise skills, whether it's a baby in a little puddle jumper jacket or you're going just out for the summer for a picnic and pool time, um, mainly to prevent drowning, of course, but to just provide that confidence and skill set in the water so we all can enjoy the water. How old is he? He is a year and seven months. Wow, and you got him in the pool. He's not even two. That's great. Do you encounter a lot of people who have fear of the water, fear of swimming? We do, Beth. We get a lot of children, some adults that are fear-based, and uh, it's our specialty. A lot of us are skilled and trained in working with them, just getting them acclimated to the water. And uh, again, that's why we have the swim lessons here, and we encourage everybody to come out and definitely take swim lessons. Excellent. Well, it's a great resource here in Sarasota, and we are so pleased to be here today and so pleased that you agreed to spend some time with us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well, my friends, it's time for us to take a look at that evidence Ty was talking about. So, Ty goes to the diving board. He walked to the end of the board. He stood there and he remembered what his dad told him. Sometimes, if I feel a little scared, I take a deep breath and I tell myself, I am ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and feels a little like a surprise. And then... Well, you see, reading can give you all kinds of new information. What a great example on how reading a book like Jabari Jumps can help us overcome our fears and help us stop procrastinating. And Ty was right, he gave us evidence about that. So great job, Ty. Great job of being an example how reading is the key to succeeding. Until we meet again, my friends, bye-bye for now. Oh, next time, double backflip. Ha <laughs> ha!